Okay, let's make Flow, uh, or at least a game very similar to Flow, uh, in uh, less than 100 lines. We're not going to do this in less than 50 lines, unfortunately. Uh, and this is similar to the popular game on uh, iPhone and Android, uh, where you have to connect the dots using pipes, uh, and the pipes are not allowed to cross each other, at least in the original version. Okay, uh, we're going to first make a board, uh, and the board is a two-dimensional array in Flow. Um, I'm just going to spend some time uh, typing some numbers, and all we have is an empty little window. Okay, um, the size of the grid is uh, 50, um, and so uh, since this is an 8 by 8 board, I'm going to make this 50 times 80, or 400 by 400. Uh, in a perfect world, we could do size, you know, board sub so zero dot length minus uh, times gw, comma board dot length times gw, something like that, right? Um, but for now. Um, you know, we'll just have to do size 400 by 400 because of JavaScript's limitations. Okay, so that's that. Uh, and I'm going to already do some minimification because this is going to be a really long program. Let's make a void draw. Okay. Uh, it's going to draw the actual board itself. And um, I'm going to actually make a function for it, background zero, and then run the function called draw uh, board just to keep our code fairly organized. So what is draw board going to do? Uh, void draw board. Okay. Uh, it's going to loop through the entire uh, each row for dot length j plus plus okay and it's going to loop through each column for j dot length j plus i plus plus okay uh, and it's going to draw uh, some uh, rectangles and circles um, so um, the x position is based off i times gw y is based off j times gw, right, the rows and the columns. Um, let's do some black rectangles. Actually, this means I probably uh, don't necessarily need the uh, background command earlier. Okay, and then uh, now I'm going to have to make some ellipses. Uh, but for now, uh, what color are we going to do? Okay, so this is the board. Okay. Uh, and actually, I don't really need this background zero anymore, do I? No, okay. Um, now, each of these has a different color. I'm going to actually just hard code some colors. There's probably a more intelligent way to do this based off a of function, um, but uh, some equation. But I'm going to use just some colors that I like. So, one is going to, uh, this could be a switch statement, but I'm going to choose to make this an if statement, uh, mainly because uh, in my classes I don't teach switch statements. Uh, return color two five. So, the first one was blue, the second one, I can see RGB is red. Uh, and what we're going to do is use that function here. So, uh, we're going to fill that color uh, for what's in the board. Okay, so now if we run this function program, uh, it looks like we're not drawing any ellipses. We need to draw ellipse if the board is not zero, then we're going to draw ellipse of size gw by gw. Okay, and let's run that. Great, and that's our board. And um, if you've played any flow, then you'll know that uh, we're going to connect you know, this point with this point. At this point, the blue is going to connect the blue, the orange is going to connect with the orange, etc. 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 Okay. Um, we're also going to have to draw some pipes as well in a bit, but um, let's uh, let's figure out what we're going to do. I think what we're going to do is we're going to use positive numbers to represent the board, and I think I'll use negative numbers uh, in the board to represent pipes uh, that connect them. Okay. Um, so, great. Um, now, we have the ability to draw the board. Um, let's do something uh, that allows us to click on the board. Um, now, clicking in this game allows you to click, drag, and select something. So we need some Boolean for um, whether or not we're selecting, um, whether we've clicked on a, an object and whether we've selected it. So let's let's create some variables along that lines. Um, we also need to store where we, which position we started at, which circle we started at, which circle we're, we're on, and maybe when we end. Um, so we're, we need a start x, a start y, um, the current position of uh, x, uh, y. Uh, also, we need two booleans um, later on. We need a s whether you won, and I'm going to create that right now as well. So won equals false. Okay, um, excellent. Um, now let's uh, do that. So inside of void draw, uh, we're going to say if you clicked uh, and you haven't selected something yet, uh, we're going to compute. Um, the x and y position of where you clicked. Well, um, 
Now in Java you can just do mouse x divided by GW, but I want this to be JavaScript compatible, so I'm going to cast that to an int um, and do the same thing for y. Okay, uh, and then the position that you're currently at is just simply equal to that. I can actually do uh, cur x equals start x equals this is a kind of chained if uh, cur y equals start y equals, and if the board at this position start x uh, is uh, greater than zero. So if it's one of the circles above, then uh, we selected something. Okay. Okay. Um, now there's a situation where we've uh, let go of the mouse. Uh, this is not true if mouse press is false and uh, selected is true. So we we clicked on something and we let go somewhere. Well. Um, we let go and uh, select is false and the end position uh, equals well we have to search uh, the board uh, and decide where the end position is um, so because um, the, it's not necessarily just where we kind of it's where we lifted off the mouse but we want to know the actual row and column these are going to be row and column uh, values so let's do a little search Board length j plus plus and dot length i plus plus. Okay, I'm using i for columns, j for rows. Uh, and uh, if this is uh, not start x and not so if it's not exactly where we started and uh, they're the same color. Then uh, we can do end x equals i and y equals i. This guarantees that when we let go of something, we have to let go on the object of the same color. Otherwise, it doesn't really count. Okay, excellent. Um, so now that takes care of whether or not we've selected something uh, and gotten to the end point. And uh, if that point uh, is uh, an end point, we need to check whether or not we've won. At some point, we will do that later. Uh, and also, we need to draw the pipes at some point. Uh, and we need to uh, do a bunch of things. So let, let's do the drawing pipes right now. Although, let me check if the syntax is correct so far. OK. So the drawing of pipes is when we have the mouse pressed and it's selected. So we have these three situations now. Okay. Oh, this needs to be down here. Um, then uh, we need to get the current mouse position again, the row and the column. Okay. The row is this, uh, the column is this. Actually, sorry, this x is column and then y is row. Okay, uh, and then uh, we need to make sure it's on the board. And if it's on the board, uh, then we're going to fill in the board with values so board dot length and x is less than board sub zero or sub y uh, dot length and this position is empty okay what are we going to do uh, we're going to also make sure that uh, it is attached to the previous location equals per y uh, this is attached on one side, we need to attach on all other four sides, so this would be correct minus one, so the first one was we were right of where we just were, this is going to be where we are left of just where we just were, y equals uh, x equals cur x minus one and y equals cur y, right, okay, uh, or um, x equals cur x and y equals cur y plus one. Now in Java we don't actually need these ors because ors of lower operator precedence then ampersand cur x and y equals cur y minus 1. Okay, so under all these conditions, then what are we going to do? We're going to say the board at that position uh, equals uh, the, a negative value, a pipe. Okay, and okay. Okay. okay, so now it's not actually drawing the pipes, so we need to somehow in the draw board function draw the pipes. Um, 
So this loops through every single position on the board. If it was greater than uh, 0, then we drew a circle. If it's less than 0, uh, then we're going to draw a um, pipe. Now, I'll make this a little bit prettier later, but for now, rect x plus um, the grid width divided by 4, let's say. So this is going to be a little bit smaller than the actual block size. And, okay, so that's that's not that pretty, but, okay, and also notice that we don't reset it, which is not good. Um, <laughs> and, let's see, um, let me make this slightly prettier right now. I'm going to make it so that if it's attached to something, it's going to look a little bit better. Uh, how are we going to do that? Let's do that later. Above, right, below, left, below, right. Yeah, we're, we're moving in the right direction there. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Um, and then we need to make it so that when we let go, it does the right thing. So uh, this was right here. Okay. Not mouse pressed and selected. Um, we have a double for loop. We calculate the end position. Cur x equal equal end x. And cur y equals n y plus 1. Okay. Or cur x and x and cur y equals n y minus 1 or cur x equals n x plus 1 and cur y equals n y okay or cur x equals n x minus 1 and cur y equals n y okay so if all those conditions are true then we should check whether there's a winner um, Uh, otherwise, um, then uh, we are not connected, and so we can reset all of those positions. Four dot length j plus plus four int i equals zero i plus then board j dot length i plus plus, uh, and if four j i equals this pipe. Board j i equals zero. Okay, so now if we run this program, uh, we should see that uh, if I let go in the middle, it clears. Okay, and if I connect it, then it stays connected, and I can reset it. Okay, so we kind of have to. And these pipes don't look good, so let me finish this. Above, right, above, left. How do those work? Okay. Um, how do we check for victory? Well, it's if all the pipes are connected uh, and there's no empty space left. Um, so that's actually a lot easier than most other games. Check win, let's call it. Uh, and uh, by default, we're going to assume that it's true, and then we're going to um, scan the board and look for any zeros. Um, and if, if we don't find pipes for everything, uh, then, then we're in trouble. So for int j equals zero, j is less than board dot length, j plus plus. There's a few ways to do this. I'm going to do kind of a, a longer way than necessary, but just to show how you would check for pipes in every single position. Let's do m. Let's do k. <laughs> so if this is equivalent to a pipe, then we found the pipe. And if we never find a pipe, then we have not won. Okay, so we've got a check win function, uh, and then we can use this check win function. Uh, to determine whether or not we win. And what we can do is we can print line win or one. Okay. Excellent. Let me see. Whoa. Laggy. So this is, by the way, how you win it. 
Okay, and it prints one. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, so now we just need to make the game look better when we win. How are we doing for lines? We're getting close to uh, 100. Um, so really what we need is we draw the board, and if we've won, okay, then we're going to do something special. Uh, let's uh, make some white text. I'll make it really simple and not even allow us to restart since we're running out of text lines. Uh, you won. Okay, and I might move this to the bottom later just for prettification. Uh, and then, now I can't use the auto indent because my indentation's so screwed up as it is. This is the machine gun way of auto indenting. You won. Okay, so that's complete. And how many? How are we doing for lines? Looks like <laughs> exactly 100 lines. Although I have a bunch of white space here that can be removed. And of course, some of these lines I would shrink because they're getting close to uh, 100 characters long, and they won't fit on uh, you know if you full screen the code. But uh, you know we can probably you know I'll, I'll make a couple adjustments, and it should be under 100 lines. Okay. Uh, hope you can play around with it. Um, go ahead and change the board, you know, do lots of things with it, and, and have fun. Okay, see you later. Bye.